out in the woods. This is our favorite new spot. I it's really a, like it. It's a good one. It's nice and secluded. Uh -huh. All right, who caught our recent Stediman Thunder Fury video? Kids seats are still just $10. It's a monster truck. <laughs> yeah, um, so we had a not so great review on this knife if you haven't mm -hmm. caught it yet. No. And one of our big complaints is we thought it was going to be double edge. Yeah. You refer to that video, but long story short, we, we complained that, you know, we thought the symmetrical design. Yeah, it looks like He-Man. Other people saw it too. Yeah, we thought it was going to be double edge, and it's just not disappointingly not uh -huh. ground to this side, all right? Uh, even though it could be. But we had yes. a commenter in that video, Frankie, get very angry and she write a very, lengthy comment. Very angry. Yes. A novel. A very lengthy <laughs> comment about how this could never be a double edge dagger because you'd cut yourself. And we were like, well, yeah, you you must have been writing all of this huge mm -hmm. multiple paragraphs I, while we were explaining. Wait a minute, I picture that character in South Park where he's like that huge guy where they're... 20 pounds of chin. Yes, I know. <laughs> that's bad. I know, that's bad. really mean. No, it, <laughs> we felt bad, but that's what we pictured you as. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> We were explaining in that video, though, yes, you can have a double-edged flipper, okay? Mm -hmm. um, we had thought, and many others apparently were finding out uh, that had gotten these. They, they just assumed they were going to be double-edged, right? Yeah, it looks like it. You can do it. Example. Oh, we'll leave this one aside. Oh, by the way, progress report. There's, uh, there's the supposed M390. I don't think M390 is supposed to be doing that. No, it's not. All right. <laughs> Blade Show 2018. Frankie... Look what we got. Oh, I know. We scored this. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's slippery. It's a little slippery. <laughs> Check it out. This is the Kaiser Soze. <laughs> Kaiser Soze. That is indeed the name. Mm -hmm. It's S-O-Z-E. Yes, it is. As opposed to what? With a little S thingy. I, I forget the spelling. We're talking about from The Usual Suspects. The yes. I want to say that's a 1995 movie. It was a really good movie. It I really good. liked it. I've only seen it once. Yeah. I made you watch it. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, a long mm -hmm. time ago. Yeah, I've only seen it once, and it's a long time ago, but it's very yep. cool, very cool. Mm -hmm. um, our friend Elijah Isham, young new designer. He's uh, so hot right now. He's like, he's Hansel. like Hansel. Does that never... joke get old? Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it does to me. <laughs> I'm All just right. kidding. <laughs> he's got a lot of just very uh, revolutionary designs, and he's getting a lot of stuff done mm -hmm. with different There's companies. There's so many cool knives that he does. Yeah. Um, we managed to leave Blade 2018 with this knife, okay? It's a prototype. It's Frankie. a very rough prototype. Yeah. I noticed that even the prototype is labeled in a red Sharpie. <laughs> a Where P. is that? Can you um, show them? It is. She just found this, you guys. I did. Right here. Let me see if I can show them. See that? Look, the P for prototype? That's written in Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even finished with typing on it. <laughs> no, it's not engraved at all or anything. Um, yeah, it's very much the, the prototype status uh -huh. here, and we've talked to Elijah, and he's he's telling us that... Uh, <laughs> it's going to change. Well, there's going to be some significant changes, This but is like 80% incorrect. 80% incorrect? <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's the other I way. I was saying it's probably the other way. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of stuff is going to change. It's going to improve. Yeah, our, our biggest complaints about it, uh, well, yes and no. Okay, so... How does it relate to the uh, Stediman Thunder Fury? Right. <laughs> Look at this, guys. This blade buries. It's fully in there. On both sides, it's the same. Look uh -huh. at that symmetrical design. Oh, what, what do you know? Imagine okay. that. And look, you cannot cut yourself. Uh -huh. Either side, all right? No. When it's retracted. And you flip it. There's a symmetrical dagger. All right. It is also not ground. No. On the reverse, on the back side there. But it's a lot closer, okay? It's and prepped to be able to be ground. That's how we're saying it, okay? Uh -huh. This particular one, it's prepped to be ground. This would take me maybe an hour to make sharp. Yeah. And once I did... You could I have a dagger. EDC this all the time. Super dagger. Yep. Still um, still not the, the friendliest knife to hand somebody. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, Frankie, show them. Or maybe you do want to hand it to them and they cut themselves. Yeah, in general, a, a double edge, um, a double edge dagger is not the most utilitarian, and they can be dangerous. Yes, because it would be kind of tough if it is sharpened. Like for me, if I try not to touch the top of the blade, I just do it up here, mm -hmm. and then the detent you can kind of just shut it with, mm -hmm. or you can pull it back in with the flipper tab. Right. But everybody kind of has different techniques. If you did want to, I just like to start it right there, and then you could round it 
even just on there. Just too. roll it with your fingers. Yep. Yep. I am doing something like. Okay. Yeah, Lighter you lock, have obviously. bigger fingers that you can kind of put into that. Mush my thumb down in there. Mush my thumb down in there. We'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. But then just using your finger to to get it past the detent ball, and then you yep. can just whoops as I mess it up. And you can just swing it closed like Frankie's saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is it. Not available at the time of this video. And no. Anyway, depending I on when you're, you're mad at us for that. Depending on when you're watching it, though, we'll put a link into Blade HQ. It says coming soon. They've got so, it listed as coming, coming soon, soon right now. Yes, yes. We've got some details though. Okay. Mm -hmm. This being the rough draft, we can tell you what's what's going to change, what's not going to change. And okay. who knows? Maybe there's surprises of changes too. <laughs> well, let's let's go ahead and get into it. What okay. what do you guys think this is going to cost? Okay. I this, was very shocked. I was a little shocked too. Okay, this particular one does. What's the other side? It does have S thirty five V N tie scales, so it's going to be you know the the bladesmith uh, line, yeah. right? Typically, we don't see less than I don't know. Usually, they're around two hundred mm -hmm. or more. Um, in the case of Elijah Esham's, that's two twenty. Yeah, this is the ting. This is the Megatherium. This one's two twenty. Mm -hmm. Great deal, by the way. Yeah, it really is. Still but love that ting. Price on this, Elijah is telling us he's shooting for less than $180 street price. That is insane. It really is. It really like, is. I would guess that you could sell it for like $300. Easy. It's because that of it type being of like knife. a specialty one. But maybe because I'm used to his Wii ones being kind of more expensive. Because I saw him over there. And he's a little bit more expensive. Talking about the Escaton, which actually they do have this in common, those flipper tabs. Elijah likes these minimal little tabs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really he does. Yeah, but yeah, three fifty on this, and it's worth it. By the way, mm -hmm. three thirty on that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's just mean. <laughs> Sorry. Back to this knife. One hundred and eighty is the gold price. There's going to be we're we're talking options. So this is titanium, a two tone titanium. Mm -hmm. um, then there's going to be a carbon fiber version of carbon, it. Carbon fiber scales. Okay, cool. And then the pivot is going to change. It's not going to be swirly. The swirly pivot will go away. It'll be something different. I don't mind it, but it's been kind of... Yeah, it's time to change it. It's been played. Mm -hmm. So played. But yeah, doesn't it look kind of like a coffin? It does, <laughs> actually. It does, yeah. really. Yeah. It's cool. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, if I haven't I like mentioned that... it yet, if I haven't mentioned it yet, I love this knife. And it's, I do love... I love how little that clip is, too. Oh, it's perfect. It's all you need. It's centered and... Uh, I it... like the symmetrical part of it. The symmetrical symmetry. side of the design. The symmetry. the symmetry. Okay, yeah, I got you. That's yeah. a good word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Frankie. Okay. Where were we going with that, though? Um, $180 for both versions. Colors? Did we talk about colors? Definitely this blue. Yeah. And probably maybe a bronze, possibly. Who possibly. knows? We don't know for sure yet. The world is their oyster. That's, yeah. And we don't like oysters. No. Yeah. Um, and we do. We do like uh, the KFC at, Taco Bell hybrid. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Because it's this hybrid. Mm -hmm. Guys, this was an off-camera discussion. <laughs> We're talking about how strange it is to have a Taco Bell and a KFC in the same restaurant. But you question it. You question it, and then you realize it's kind of amazing. You're like, I'm going to take some crispy chickens and just throw some and tacos then in I'll the have bucket, some, like just straight in the bucket. Yeah, I'll have some soft tel shell tacos too. <laughs> That's weird. I, I'm definitely going to cut that out. Soft that tacos is what I meant. Soft tacos and crispy chicken, please. It works, though. And throw uh, on some coleslaw. <laughs> Frankie, we are way <laughs> off track here. Hold on, hold on. Back where we were, though. $180, okay. two different well, versions. And what else they're going to change? They're going to change... This is what is kind of difficult about it right now, too. Mm -hmm. Is the lock bar. Okay, it's a liner lock. It's very difficult to uh, access, isn't it? Yeah. Well, and it, it's just right up against there, so you can't it really up. grab into it. Okay, so it's basically flush here, you can see. And you can see that this knife was actually rushed together. Yeah. Because, like, look at, like, the quality is not up to par. The fit and finish, it's uh -huh. it's a prototype. Okay, yeah, don't, it's, it's a little rough. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that, guys. But um, what were we saying here? Yeah, the lock bar is going to change. That's probably the biggest um, negative about the function of the knife. It mm -hmm. just needs to be a little easier to unlock because if you could if you could unlock this and just uh, yeah, see, I was going to say just swing the knife, operate it that way. Yeah, that'd be sweet. But you basically can. Yeah, once. But it's just it's harder to access right now. They're going to change that. The pivot, carbon fiber. What else? Okay, the back side, Frankie. That's the sharp is, side. <laughs> I found that out. See, I'm bleeding now. No. 
the back side, right? Let's show a close up of this. Can you guys see that? I can. I'm looking very closely. It's a lot closer to that than this. That's really thick. To being sharp. Mm -hmm. But th the key difference is once you make this sharp, it's not going to hurt you. It won't hurt you when it's when it's deployed. If I made this sharp, you would you would slice yourself open mm -hmm. uh, a lot, all right? This one is it's prep we were comparing it to say like say uh, a semi-automatic rifle where all you have to do is just change it, it, it you're all set you have the rifle but legally you can't have fully auto right no you just switch that little section but you just make that one little change and you're good to go this is legally, like that you you would make sure that everything's legal yeah this is like that all you got to do you sharpen that back side and it's good to go it buries right mm -hmm. so good and then and bad. you hand it to the friend that you really just don't like Yes, be <laughs> careful about that. This is not a knife you hand to people. By the way, the detent is awesome, although it's not very clicky. Um, I bet it will be. Yeah, still just the you know, prototype status. has standards. Ding. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, and Kaiser does too, especially. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, of course they have standards. The Theta, it's over, oh, it's yeah. over a year now, and we still haven't seen this Past knife. Past the prototype that we saw? Because, so this is two blade shows now, we've been drooling over the Theta and we still can't mm -hmm. buy it. We tried so hard to leave with the Theta, but we couldn't. No, nope, couldn't. They wouldn't let us have it. <laughs> <laughs> Which they let us have this one. It was crazy, before the Theta. Yeah. But Kaiser wasn't happy with it. They, no. they say, no, they still need to modify the flipping. Yeah, it's, um, it's not set up. So right. no, Kaiser's very specific This as well. one, Elisha said that this one was easier to perfect because, well, like the flipper, of the Theta is so particular that that's where they're working David on was it. talking to us about yeah. that. He was talking to us about how particular uh, um, the the angle and the action of that mm -hmm. particular flipper tab they on that knife. They just want to get it perfect. It's not where they want it to be. But anyway, here it is. We had to show it to you. You know what? It's not even skeletonized. I wonder if it'll be skeletonized. I would not be surprised if it yeah, is. Yeah, I bet it probably yeah. will. Single standoff in the back. That's really cool. I doubt that'll change. That's super cool. I just love seeing Elijah's um, designs in, I, I people give him a hard time for going from different manufacturers, but I love seeing the different types of designs that he's coming up with for everybody. He's got some crazy, um, yeah, we use the word niche type designs. Uh, talking to him this year, it was really cool. I, I said, I said, well, it's surprisingly ergonomic. And he said, yeah, but that wasn't necessarily the goal. He said something uh -huh. along those lines. And I was just like, cool. You embrace the fact that these are these are more like art knives. Yeah. You can tell he's an artist. Yes, very much so. Very Hardcore much so. Hardcore artist. Yeah. And it's actually been, it's after the Buddhist dagger. Oh, Buddhist, we forgot to mention that. Buddhist Is, dagger. Maybe I'll show a picture of one of those. I believe. Purba. 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 <laughs> Isn't that from the Lion King? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Herba. Uh, that this is designed after. Okay, I'll show a picture of that. But then he said once Kaiser was going to do it, he had to rename it the Sose. The Sose, yeah. It just goes together. Yeah. But another Isham design, this one, another one for Kaiser. Mm -hmm. And we're very much looking forward to it. Like we say, Blade HQ has got them on the list right now. We'll put a link into that. You can get on the email list for when they do have them in stock. But it sounds like there's going to be some changes before we see that. So yeah. we have no idea. Depending on when you're watching this, they could already be out. Or it could be, who knows, another Blade Show before <laughs> we see this again. I don't know. Let's hope not. I know. I really want that Theta. Mm -hmm. But this yeah. one, very cool. Um, had just seen a couple of photos, design photos, like um, yeah, CAD photos mm -hmm. that, that Elijah was posting on Instagram. And I was thinking, yeah, that's really cool. That's probably, you know, five years out, whatever. I just put it in the back of my mind. We showed up at Blaze Show. <laughs> and we walked away with it. There it was. And yeah, we have it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, but Kaiser. What do you guys think? It's pretty awesome. The double edge. I'm a fan of double edge. They're not very practical. Here, speaking of Blade Show 2018. Mm -hmm. Here's the one that we put lemon juice on. This is M390. But yeah, there's a, there's a bayonet double edge. Yeah. All right. Let's bring in another one. What, this one? Yes. Oh, yeah. We had to. This one. It's comparable. <laughs> I was going to so say mean. there's another. <laughs> this one was from Nick. It's got the bee hole. You guys have had to watch our channel regularly for that. But, yeah. There's just um, similarities. I have, Here, I'll, I'll, I'll compare these two more. Okay. Well, I was going to say, I have doubts about certain manufacturers and their blade steel claims, M390. You um, want, I bet this one wouldn't rust like this, <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is, uh, 
where was I going with this? The M390 that this company um, claims that this is, uh, you know, we just can't trust it. Kaiser, we do trust. Oh yeah. We do trust. Um, they buy a lot of S35VN. They buy, they buy a lot of BG10, and mm -hmm. it is what they say it is. You know. Um, you know what I find really neat too is just seeing his influence on the knife community, because yeah. he's just out there so much, and we got to see him everywhere this year. Yeah, we were talking about this before uh, on the drive over here to the park. Last year, 2017, mm -hmm. we saw Elijah like maybe twice. And yeah, we kinda a forgot. couple times. Yeah, we kind of mm -hmm. forgot what he looked like. This year, we couldn't stop seeing him. We saw him <laughs> in all of the spots we wanted to be. <laughs> yeah, everywhere we were, he was there, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, no, seriously, he's... he's. Um, I think it's more the other way. Everywhere he was at, we wanted to be. <laughs> yeah. His designs, though, very cool. Much anticipated for a lot of people. Yeah. You guys know this was probably my 2017 mm -hmm. favorite night for the year. I can't wait for my mini... The mini Ethereum, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's but exciting. What else? That's what we've got on this one. We figured we had to show it to you guys. It's well, one of our. We have to brag and show it off. Yeah. Even though it's going to be changed. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to get the the finished product one and compare it to this one. It will be fun to yeah compare it, them. The only thing that would make this knife particularly a lot cooler is if it was engraved prototype instead of the little <laughs> <laughs> well don't wipe off the sharpie <laughs> right yeah never never wipe that off yeah but it looks like there's gonna be a lot of changes yeah. even just um some of the stuff that we haven't talked to that that elijah didn't mention was um i'm guessing they will skeletonize yeah the, the liners there a little bit so yeah it was how much cool. does it weigh did we get the scale out yeah we are at the park we are at the park after all Duh. okay there we go. 4.3. You could probably get this below four ounces. Mm -hmm. um, because those liners are actually kind of thick. They are thick. Yeah. When I look at them, they're kind of thicky. So I'm guessing you could get this below three ounces. Yeah. Well, and especially the carbon fiber one will be lighter too. Mm -hmm. be cool. Yeah. What else? I'm just curious. Oh, sure. Might as well. 0. 0.51. Because it actually average. kind of angles, so I think I'm hitting that little bit of the thicker section. Well, make sure yeah. you're getting right to the middle there. Let's yeah, I am. Yeah. But, I mean, it feels less because they're angled. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, this uh, this kind of chamfered. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's very ergonomic in the hand. I suppose you could say that this is a hot spot down here when you go to flip, but I don't care. It's just part of the design. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Much anticipated for sure, but sorry guys, who knows? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. We'll update. It's with, coming uh, soon. Yeah, we'll update when we to do know more. Store near you. Yep. In the meantime, though, you guys got to be happy with the theta. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> Mega Ethereum, Mini Ethereum. Hopefully yes. that'll be out soon. Yeah. Good stuff though from Kaiser. My Good bet stuff is from that the Mini Ethereum will be out first out of all of the new ones. Uh, well, that would be cool too. I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't complain. Mm -hmm. But yeah, good stuff from Kaiser, good stuff from Elijah. Thought mm -hmm. we'd show you guys. All right, thanks a lot for joining us.